Welcome, everybody, to SWF Shootout. We are live here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Hope everybody enjoyed Revolver last week. But it is all about shootout here tonight. We've got STC, the Lone Star Champion, Jay Wolf, the Maverick Champion. We've got the Tag Team Champions on the show tonight. Let's get things going with Duke Zenda versus SDC. Well, let's get things started here with the money man, the creator, the founder, the leader of Money Inc. and your former Lone Star champion, Duke Zenda, is here in the ring as the money falls down from the, the rafters here. Duke won the Lone Star Championship way back at the Gold Rush pay-per-view in a triple threat match against Alex Corzo and Siler Jordan. He held that championship for a month where SDC came out of a, uh, out of nowhere. We were gonna see Duke Zenda versus the Savage John Robb, and SDC attacked him. SDC constantly had the upper hand and then defeated Duke Zenda at Southern Stampede to win that Lone Star Championship. So now Duke's on a mission to get it back. I don't blame him. That was the first championship that Duke has won here in SWF, PWA, NXT, whatever we've been called. That was the first time. He only held it for a month. So Duke really trying to get that championship back now. Well, folks, we've got Duke Zenda and STC starting off the show and these guys have been at each other for a month or so and SDC not waiting around just coming in and laying the big rights to the former champion my goodness things start off quick and heavy and Duke Zenda now in control here neck breaker there from the money man my goodness the the Lone Star Champ is not fooling around. Big knee. Oh, doesn't knock Duke Zenda down with that, though. Misses the kick. Chopped by Zenda. Kicks to the legs of Duke by SDC, and he's going to send Duke across the ring. And oh, my goodness. What a move there from Duke Zenda. Nice reversal into that. I don't even know what to call that. Curtain call type move. Stomp to the head of SDC now. Oh, not knocking Duke down again. That single leg drop kick doesn't seem to affect the money man here. Reversal from SDC. Oh, kick to the side of the head now. And Duke is going to send SDC into the corner and a huge forearm. Now, if you recall back, uh, SDC won the championship from Duke at Southern Stampede. Uh-oh. He's got Duke's arm slamming it down into the mat. And then uh, last week, uh, SDC got a win over Brett Storm. But that didn't, that didn't really seem to uh, cool anything going on between SDC and Duke. Duke came out, was at ringside, and uh, Brett Storm kind of took advantage of that with a shot. Oh, and a geez, big kick to the back of the head with a cheap shot on SDC, uh, but ended up losing that matchup to the champ, of course. But Duke and SDC going at each other for a while now. Uh-oh, Duke, big kick to the side of the head. That could be it. One, two, no. The champ kicks out at two. We've seen that move before, the little springboard kick has given Duke Zenda the win many times. And so has the following one. If he can land it on SDC, he does. Rolls that dice. He cashes that check right on the face of SDC. Two. Oh my goodness, that was so close. That was so close. Duke almost had a win 
over the champ, and that would have been extremely helpful going into the pay-per-view. Kick to the midsection, but the hero of wrestling dodges. Oh, look at this. He's going to make Duke tap out, it looks like. Duke is too... Whoa. Okay. That was lightning fast. Never seen that done before. Neck breaker to the champ. Gets out of it. A European uppercut there. Oh, goes for a chop, and Duke shuts it down and misses the springboard. Or, excuse me, misses the uh, body splash. Oh! Jumping neck breaker to SDC by Duke, and now Duke has got... What's he doing here? Uh-oh. We're going to see it again? We sure are. Off the second rope and a kick right to the chest. And again, going for the pin on the champ. Two, no, and a kick out. My goodness. Duke, it, here we go. Duke is fired up, folks. He has got a lot to, to count for and to try to get this championship back as it was his first ever championship here in SWF. Two. Oh my goodness. Duke is furious. He is throwing it all at the champ here. Reversal. SDC. Oh, it looked like he was going to throw him outside of the ring, but a pullback neck breaker. And the Lone Star champ now is fired up. Big clothesline there. Clothesline again. Ducking Duke. Oh, and a super kick. Puts Duke Zinda on his back. SDC, we've seen it a hundred times. The Falcon Arrow. And now he's going to put the pin on Duke Zinda. Is that going to be it? No. Duke kicks out. Duke's been in control pretty much this whole match. Oh, boy. But this has put away many a man, and he blasts Duke with it and busts him open. He's bloody. Two. And no. Duke kicks out. SDC said that's got to be three, and the ref says, sit down. It's only two. Nice fireman carry reversal there from Duke Zenda. He's going to pull SDC and go for the... Uh-oh. Look at Duke hooking the legs. And SDC is still able to get out of it. Big German suplex to the champ. Man. Duke trying to uh, trying to steal one here from the champ. And a, driving the knee down of Duke Zinda. And now look at him. Oh, he's got him in the drag center of the ring. This has got to be it for Duke. SDC's locked it in tight. Duke Zenda struggling. The ref right there, ready to see no. Duke doesn't give up, so SDC has to let go. Climbing way up to the top now. Big shooting star press on the former champ. One, two, three. That's it. Wow. Duke uh, just didn't have it in him after that choke. And SDC starts off shootout with a victory. Here is your winner, SD. Your winner and Lone Star champion as Duke rolls out of the ring. SDC starts us off here tonight in Tulsa. Well, guys, that Lone Star Championship rivalry is wild. I'll tell you that. SDC came out of nowhere and won that championship, and Duke is doing whatever he can to get it back. But with all that said, at the Southern Stampede pay-per-view, we had an eight-man battle royal ladder match to get a contract here in the SWF. And Robert Hall won that matchup. He beat out seven other men to, to pull that briefcase town with the contract. And he signed that contract that night. Bringing that briefcase to the backstage area, wasting no time. Signed that contract. 
And now he is here in an SWF shootout termination society. Interesting. Robert Hall, uh, this is his first matchup here in SWF, his first singles matchup. He had that match at uh, Southern Stampede, and now he's here. So his opponent, though, is no slouch. That's for sure. We're going to see what he can do against uh, one of the veterans of SWF. See how he reacts, how he handles this whole situation. Not a, uh, you know, not everybody debuts on a pay-per-view. He did it along with seven other men and, be and was victorious. So we'll see how he handles the stage now that uh, he's on the roster and not just fighting for a roster spot. Robert Hall in the ring. This dude was chiseled from stone. Look at this man. His opponent, though, may not be chiseled from stone, but this dude can fight. We know him. We love him. And his vice, the greatest, as his shirt says, part of uh, Fight and Flight, which is his team with SDC. Vice, as I said, a veteran here in the SWF. And last season put Leo McKay through hell. These, those two guys had a rivalry, probably the best rivalry of the season last, last season. And now Vice looks to come in, kick some ass. He's not worried about taking anybody's name. He don't care. Vice is a former champion as well in SWF. Let's see if the rookie Robert Hall can get one over on the veteran here on shootout. We'll have to see. Or is the veteran just... Is Vice just going to put a beating on Robert Hall? We'll find out, that's for sure. These fans are cranked. Here comes Robert Hall. He is ready to get out of the gate here and ready to fight. Vice says, bring it on. That bell rings and Vice comes out of the gate hard with a big clothesline. And Robert Hall, though, quick to get out of it. Vice is uh, kind of a smaller guy, but Robert Hall looks to be even smaller. Just a, a hair shy uh, under height-wise of Vice. Jawbreaker from Hall. Oh, Vice gets out of that shot to the midsection. Big elbow to the face of Vice. Vice is not going down. He's not going to let this rookie show him up, that's for sure. But these guys seem like they have uh, faced each other a thousand times before as reversal after reversal. Nice monkey flip from, oh, look at that, from Hall. Vice takes him down, though. And he's going to drag him out to the center of the ring. Deadlift. Oh, into a backbreaker. Or back body drop, excuse me, going for the pin now. Just a one count. Vice, though, right back in it. Hall with a big shot. I'm interested to see how Robert Hall does here um, after winning. It's not an easy feat uh, winning a ladder match, eight man ladder match. Look at Vice now. Jeez, the 10 count in the top turnbuckle. It's not easy winning a ladder match, let alone an eight man ladder match. And Robert Hall did just that. So I'm really interested to see. How he turns that into a victory here is Vice has got the Anaconda Vice locked in on Hall, but he's going to kick him in the back of the head with those elbows. I want, uh, obviously, everybody to do well here in SWF. 
especially those who haven't been here before. Especially, you know, guys, guys like Robert Hall and Daniel Harris, who was uh, Daniel Storm at one time. Daniel Harris, the Savage John Robb is Hall goes. For. I want to see these guys do well. Uh oh. What is Hall got going on up his sleeve here? Vice gets out of the way and big slap. Follows it up. Blue Thunder Bomb. That might be it. That's the move. Uh oh. But Vice doesn't go for the pin here. Instead, just keeps on to the attack. Now goes for the pin after that shot to the knee. And a one count. Maybe that that last attack. Gave Robert Hall a little room to breathe, if that makes any sense. Oh, reversal. And Hall with a big clothesline. And set, oh, sets Vice up and stomps on that arm. Robert Hall's got him locked in. And a camel clutch, it looks like. Is he going to make Vice tap? And it doesn't look like Vice gets out of it. Oh, Hall bouncing on those ropes on his way down. Working that arm now of Halt. No, and a shot to the midsection causes Vice to release. Kick, though. Vice not giving up that early, and Vice gets hung over the top rope. Hall was ready for that one. And picked Vice up and hung him out to dry. Pump handle. Oh, right into a neck breaker. Oh, Vice falls down with him. Oh, and Vice has got him locked in in a dragon sleeper. He has got the newcomer strapped in. And no, he's going to knee his way out of this one as well. This submission attempt. Sidewalk slam. Oh, Vice slow to get up to his feet, though. Jawbreaker from Robert Hall. This The newcomer's not giving up, and a huge DDT. And Vice is busted open. Robert Hall now, he's got Vice set up. Huge power bomb. One, two, three. The newcomer gets a victory over Vice. That is insane to me. They put, this was a good matchup. Back and forth, back and forth. And Robert Hall gets a victory over Vice as he leaves the ring. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're new here, brother. Don't kick the hornet's nest as he's stomping away on Vice. Ref, get in there and stop him. Shut this down. Well, coming up, folks, we have got another set of another champion another set of champions however you want to say it versus those they took the championships from we have got as you can see here the birth code of fish and keith alexander your gunslinger champions they are about to be facing off against those those guys they took those titles from at Southern Stampede. That's Leo in the sleeve. Now the birth, and we mentioned this many times, the birth has so much more experience versus Leo in the sleeve. So, as, ta as, as a tag team, I should say. You got Keith Alexander on the right, and you've got uh, Coda Fish on the left. And they hold those championships after winning at Southern Stampede. They've been a tag team for a long, long time. Leo and the Sleaze teamed up during the uh, Deuces Wild Tag Team Tournament. A lot of teams did. A lot of teams teamed up there. The Birth actually lost to Leo and the Sleaze. So they had a lot going into Southern Stampede. And they came out on top. They will hold those titles now. This is a non 
tie non-championship, non-title matchup here. As Seb Abbott and Leo McKay coming out right now. Leo McKay got his first win of this season, first singles win of this season on Revolver. As he faced off against Jesse Newman. Dakota Fish got his singles win, first singles win against Ryan Adams. So Revolver, as many of you know, is a show where the bottom 15 members of our roster, we have 30 people, the bottom 15 based on wins are on Revolver. Leo and Coda Fish and Keith Alexander are on that show. Leo got his first victory against Jesse Newman. Let's see what he can do here. Trying to face off again against the birth. The Sleaze, Australian Sleaze, Seb Abbott starting things off against Keith Alexander and delivers a huge clothesline. Big clothesline into a neck breaker. Nice job there. Now Seb Abbott won the television championship way back last season. Oh, the clothesline didn't affect him at all. And now Leo is bringing in, excuse me, Seb Abbott is bringing in Leo. Elbow to the lower back. If they can get a win over the champs, who knows what that's going to do for them. If I'm not mistaken, Ebony and Ivory might be in line for those championships. And it looked like Seb was going to try to send Keith Alexander outside the ring. Pulling down on those ropes. Nice Samoan drop, though, by Alexander. He's got, oh, he's dragging Seb, or Leo over. Possibly into his corner. That's what I was thinking there. Tags in Coda Fish, and look at this. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man, what a tag team move. There from the berth. And now Coda Fish locking in a figure four. Oh, man, just really working that knee. He's going to pull Leo up to his feet, but catches a jawbreaker for his efforts. Oh, Leo went for possibly that Hurricane Rana. Oh, rolls out of the ring, though. That was a, a veteran move there from Leo McKay. Into the corner and a big forearm right across the jaw. And now he's got Leo up. Oh, reversal into a reverse DDT. Nice move there by Leo. We call him the smallest bruiser. I mean, he's not, uh, he's not six foot five. He's not 250 pounds, but the man can fight. The man can fight. And look at this submission move. Just stretching the chest of Coda Fish. Stretch it out. And now he is gonna send him into the corner. Leo and, and and Seb look great in this matchup. Leo or Seb might want to look out. And a leg drop over the back of the head of Coda Fish. And he's gonna go for the pin here. Just a one count though. Up to his feet feet now. Shot right there to the back of the head. Looks like Leo's gonna send him into the corner. Oh, maybe went for that, went to go for the tag. Ref kind of in the way. Leo dodges it, dodges that splash, and Coda face first into the corner. There's a head snap there and a kick to the back. Uh-oh. It looks like Seb Abbott doesn't want to be a part of this team anymore as he hops down. And Keith Alexander takes it to Leo McKay. I, I don't understand. Big drop there. And Seb comes in but doesn't really do anything. Kind of punches Keith Alexander right there. I don't know what to make of that. And Keith Alexander's got... That chokehold locked in. Seb Abbott, though, is not coming in to stop it. 
And that's it, Leo taps out. Leo's tapped out and the winners of this matchup are your tag team champions, the birth. That's an interesting thing that uh, Seb Abbott hopped down when Leo went for the tag. I wonder what is going on with those guys. But your champions and winners of this matchup, Coda Fish and Keith Alexander. Well, folks, another set of teams that have been at each other for months now. It is, of course, as they come out here, <laughs> it is, of course, the Sons of Carnage. We've got James Gaines III on the right, Jesse Newman on the left. These guys, these are another set of folks that can just straight up fight you, beat you into the ground. They're not the biggest, but they are one of the toughest teams and individuals here in SWF. And it is just, it's just insanity. Jesse Newman and James Gaines, Salem Strong style here, the Sons of Carnage. Their opponents here tonight are none other than the Fallen Kingdom. Malcolm Black on your left, Bruiser Brad on your right. And I don't know how the Sons of Carnage have gotten any victories over Fallen Kingdom with the size of Bruiser Brad. He weighs the same, if not more, than both of those, excuse me, both of those guys combined. At, at at Southern Stampede, the Fallen Kingdom won their matchup against uh, the Fallen Kingdom won against Sons of Carnage, and then we had the Fallen Kingdom winning again the next night to start off SWF. So that was the last episode of Shootout. So what is going to happen here now? I mean, look at Bruiser Brad; he's humongous. The man's head is the size of Jesse Newman's chest. But we're going to have to see how these men handle the Fallen Kingdom. Oh, nice reversal there from Jesse Newman. Like that. Into an arm bar. As he works Malcolm Black over. Into the corner goes Newman. And the tag has been made to the big man. A boot to the face. I'm not sure what size boot that is, but look at the size, look, just compare it to Jesse Newman. Dropping that big body across the shoulder, that upper arm area. Oh, and then across the lower back. Jesse Newman just caught the brunt of a freight train. Nice arm drag though, flipping the big man over. Going for a drop kick and missing. Catching a huge chop, the big frying pan chop from Bruiser Brad. Oh no, Jesse Newman trying to get over there to his partner and Brad fights out of that. Big clothesline into the corner. And now look at Bruiser Brad up in the air and slamming him down onto his back. Jesse, not a lot of offense here. Trying to get to his partner, no. Brad shuts that down with a giant boot to the back of the head. Into the corner goes Jesse, and he is able to get out of it, though. Nice pullback neck breaker. This might be the chance he needs to tag in his partner, and he doesn't do it. He doesn't bring in. Oh, nice clothesline there. Elbow into the corner. No, a reversal. He dodges it, and a big kick to Bruiser Brad. Brad's stumbling, but uh-oh. We've seen that DDT many times from Jesse Newman. And he is fired up. He's got Brad, no, reversal from Bruiser Brad. Into the corner. Oh, and an elbow to the face. Oh my goodness, back body drop. I'm not sure what 
James Gaines is doing over there, trying to come in and distracting the referee. That didn't uh, bode well for his tag team partner. And again, maybe trying to get over there to, to James Gaines, but it doesn't work out for him. Into the corner, big tag. Oh, shot to the face now, here we go. Off of Bruiser Brad and he kicks Jesse Newman right in the side of the head. Goes for the pin. Missing the breakup and the Fallen Kingdom get the victory once again. Jesse Newman, or excuse me, James Gaines. Just a little short of that, of that pin breakup. And the Fallen Kingdom get the victory over the Sons of Carnage. Well, the arena goes dark and the purple smoke fills the stage area and we know what that means. We are about to see the number one contender for the Maverick Championship and as everything is glowing on this man, we know who it is. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Kid Hades. Now, Kid Hades last season didn't have the greatest season, but all that's changed here in SWF. This season, he's had quite a, a decent, a decent matchup uh, so far this season, and he has taken full advantage of it. And now, here he is, about to face Jay Wolf here tonight uh, in a non-title match, of course. Um, but he is next in line for that Maverick Championship. And last season, in his rivalry with, I believe it was Leo McKay, um, we, we saw a lot from Kid Hades, and so much so that he deemed himself unworthy but he is uh, proving himself wrong this time as he gets a shot at that Maverick Championship. The Kid Hades sits in the ring and just as our first matchup started tonight, our last matchup in our main event is gonna start the same way. Oh, geez. Jay Wolf drives Kid Hades hard into that ring apron and Kid Hades comes back hard with a big right hand and this matchup, as Hades gets Wolf into the ring, has officially started. The ref's still outside. There he goes. Oh, my goodness. Hades next in line here for this Maverick Championship. But Wolf, oh, my goodness. Deadlift back body drop by the champ. Now, last week, Evelyn Reeves and Jay Wolf faced off. But Hades came down. Nice move there by Wolf just tossing Hades across the ring. Hades came down and attacked Jay Wolf. But he still got the victory. Oh, big knee there, and it doesn't knock the big man down. Drop kick doesn't knock him down either. Hades has, uh, he's got a big challenge in front of him, as does anybody who faces off against Jay Wolf. Face first into the corner now. And Hades just getting a 10 count here from Wolf. Down he goes. Oh, rolls out of the way of that kick, though. Or that stomp and a big knee. But it just stumbles Jay Wolf. Oh, boy. Look at this. Way up. Head first into the canvas. Now, Jay, Jay Wolf has only lost one match, if I'm not mistaken. And I, I, off the top of my head, I can't remember who it was against. I want to, I believe it was Seb Abbott as we went into uh, Southern Stampede. Seb gave Jay his first loss, but in the end, Jay ended up beating Seb Abbott at Southern Stampede and retaining the Maverick Championship. But it looks like Hades, oh, the commentator's curse. Looks like Hades was getting the advantage, and then he gets thrown across the ring. 
And Wolf takes a minute to just chill out. But Hades back up to his feet now here on the outside. Big right hand misses and a shoulder block sends Hades down to the mat. Oh, nice reversal. Oh, and a kick, but a reverse from Wolf as well. Both men slide back into the ring. Right hands, no. Big drop kick, not knocking Wolf down. Oh, face first, and then for the pin here. One, no. Just a one count, but it makes him kick out. It makes Wolf kick out. Look at this. Spinning face buster from Kid Hades. One, two, no. Holy cow. That was it, that was the move. He's gonna get Jay up to his feet now. Big man up on his shoulders. Go to Hades, to Jay Wolf. And he's gonna roll him over. Is he too close to the ropes? It doesn't look like it. And Jay Wolf kicks out, my goodness. Kid Hades thought he had the champ dead to rights. And he kicked out, dragging him over now. Center of the ring. Well, I don't know where he's going with him. Just to pin him again. Oh, and using the ropes now with a one count. Jay's wondering what the heck is going on with a big kick. And he's going to just blast Kid Hades. Rolling him over now. All 380 or so pounds of Jay Wolf coming down on the stomach of Kid Hades. No, nice reversal on a kick to the midsection. Look at this, flipping and dropping Jay Wolf right onto his face. And Hades again, going for the pin here. Just a one count though. You're gonna have to do something major to keep Jay Wolf down. And jumps up, big knee right across the, the throat. Uh-oh, nice move there from Hades as he steps back, but the Gorilla Press slam into a power slam might be putting Kid Hades down for the count. Look at this. Deadlift power slam again, and the pin here. One, two, that's it. That's it. Jay Wolf getting the victory over Kid Hades. Two power slams in a row. Hades has got a challenge ahead of him. That is for sure. Your winner, ladies and gentlemen, is your Maverick champion, Jay Wolf. Thank you so much for watching. Stick around, come back for Revolver, and we'll see what goes down in the next episode of Shootout.